Uh, one, mm, two, mm, three, uh, 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 oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm dribbling. Oh, there's a bit of blood on that. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. And that is, welcome to IGTV. I'm trying to do two things at once, very last minute, because as I'm about to do this, I thought, you know what, if I was doing this and I didn't have a doctor assisting me and I had to do it at home, I would want to know how to do it properly. I thought I'd talk you through oh, um, exactly what to do. So you get your kit and then the first thing you do, you must wash your hands for hygienic reasons. And then before you do anything, make sure you label your little vial. Here, this will come out. I'm going to put my name, my name, age, it's all there. Name, date of birth and sample date. That's quite hard to get out of. That's the little vial that it's going to come in. It's really important that you get that on before you do anything else. And I have five members in my house and we, you know, what you don't want to do is mess up your samples. We are all being tested for C19 because uh, as predicted, my uh, son, <laughs> first day back at school, first week back at school, back at school and his teacher tested positive. So the whole class is at home which meant then my girls could still go to their school because they weren't showing any symptoms. This was on a Sunday night. We got the email for today is Monday, second week back at school. And then my older girls woke up this morning with a very mild temperature, which I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk that for anyone out there um, that could get, you know, we don't want to spread it. We may have it and we'll, we will be fine, but I don't want to spread it. So... Um, okay, the vial is done. It's got all my information on it. The little swab that comes, this is really important. Make sure you open it at the end, the other end of the swabbing part, the um, like the cotton tip part. So open it up. Oh my gosh, I've just done the whole family and now I have to do mine on my own. So what I'm doing, I've got my mirror here. It's gonna be quite graphic. And look at me, it's Monday, I'm tired and I've got no makeup on. So it's just a very last minute.com video here at Memore headquarters. First, sorry, which I've done, you must blow your nose. Blow your nose quickly because that is going to bring all the particles to the, the front part of your nose. Then I've got to go around, I'll show you this piece of paper actually, I'll do a, um, a little video of it so you can see what guidelines I'm using or what we all have to do. But I think usually a doctor would do this, so it's been quite a unique experience. Right, so tongue goes out and I'm trying to get, <laughs> okay, you can see, <sighs> here we go. Ah. <laughs> That's one side done. <laughs> I don't know if you could see down there, but I'll show you the uh, little diagram. I think that's enough. I'm just going to do one little swipe, swab right in the back of my mouth. Huh. Right, <laughs> and um, you are to try to avoid getting your tongue and teeth. Very hard to do, but I did it. Now this is the horrible bit. Well, it feels like I'm like a little hot sweat, hot flush right now because I've done it to everyone else, but now I had to have to do it to myself. I stick this up my nose, right? <laughs> Okay, so it's got to, can you see that all right going in? Yeah? Right, I'm gonna slide it in. It's gotta sort of go this way. And oh my God, I've gotta, uh, uh, it's gotta go in two to three, uh, 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 centimeters. Uh, one, mm, two, 
Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm dribbling. Oh, there's a bit of blood on that. Well, it all goes in for testing. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't do it too far. <laughs> My eye wants to like explode. Can you see that? Oh. Right, and then <laughs> it goes in. So I had to twirl that like five times. I went deeper with the kids. God, I don't, I don't know how they did that. And then it just breaks off. There's a point on there, breaks off, seal it, and then you bag it up and it's going to go, whoo, it's going to go off to the lab. So that is a, a corona test, a swab test, a swab corona test done at home. You've seen it done live. Well, it won't be live by the time you watch it. Um, you know, you might be in that situation where this might be you. And I hope this makes it a little bit easier. Try to do it with me. Don't watch me, especially because uh, 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 <laughs> it might scare you a little bit. That's the box that I sealed up to, and sent off to the courier. And it's come back <laughs> exactly how I sent it off. I thought, that's odd. They've sent me back the results. No, the swabs, everything is still in there. It's been a really bad day and this has just topped it off because my daughter has an exam tomorrow, which clearly she's not going to be able to do because it's going to take two days to get the results back of these. So I still don't know if we're positive or negative. I'll let you know. Okay, I thought I'd quickly slot this into the video to let you know that we got our test last night. It's funny when the lab messed up, it's funny how quickly that they can actually process those results and we got them last night and all the family are negative. We are COVID free, which means my daughter could go back to school today. My middle daughter could also go back to school today, but still has a temperature and a sore throat. There's so much going around, you know, I don't know how this is going to work. As soon as a kid gets a temperature, you know, we're gonna, it's, we're gonna suspect Corona and they have to be tested or be isolated for 10 days but there's so many viral infections around this time of year. Anyway, that's the world we live in right now. I don't usually do videos like this, but I usually do videos based around paleo beauty and lifestyle. Well, I guess this is a lifestyle video. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when my next video comes up, which won't be, Oh, my nose is running, which won't be anything to do with Corona, I hope. Um, click on the notification bell and I will see you in my next video.